Okay, so, hi guys, Maya here. I thought I would do a what's in my hospital bag video. Now, just so that you're aware, I have picked two different bags. One is a labour bag and one is a stay bag, or after stay bag, postpartum bag. Um, the reason why I've done two separate bags is because I'll be in two different locations uh, for my stay. So, I'm going to be, or planning, <laughs> fingers crossed, all works out well. <laughs> Um, I am planning to have my baby in the local hospital and then do my after stay at the local birthing clinic or birthing centre. Um, so I've got two bags, one for while I'm in labour and in hospital for a, few, uh, for a few hours and then for a couple of days in the birthing centre. So we'll see how things go of course, um, may not be. Uh, the other reason why I packed two bags is so that when I'm in hospital I've got just one bag to carry around and stuff like that um, and then my after stay bag will stay in the car until needed so technically after bag after stay bag should stay in the car until <laughs> we go to the birthing centre so I'm just going to go through the items that I have in each bag now in terms of the items they are a bit higgledy piggledy a bit here and there um, and some of the items do need to be rearranged but basically if I start with my labour bag now it is what is intended to be used as my nappy bag but there is no guarantee of course of that um, because it's quite a substantial size but they say that nappy bags take a lot so what I've got in this bag is I do have um, a total mixture of items now I'm just going to go through the items in sort of some semblance of an order but I may not be able to so first thing is I do have some uh, steriliser Milton tablets now I've been told by my midwife that this is and also I googled it online and everything like that that in the birthing centre in the hospital this is the method they use for sterilising bottles um, I'll discuss in another video um, my reasons behind breast, breastfeeding, bottle feeding all of those sorts of things so I do have some in case um, the hospital doesn't provide them because I have absolutely no idea what I've also got as well in this bag is oh, I've got just a packet of paracetamol, some Arnica tablets to help with the bruising, a little pot of Vaseline for lip balm. Um, I do find in terms of uh, when things get quite dry, Vaseline works best for me. Um, or some straw, strawberry chapstick is my little favourite one. Um, I also have in this bag for a while in labour some snacks for myself and my partner I do plan on putting some dried fruit in there those are lollies um, so quite a bit of sugar some bottle of Powerade as well I've also got a pair of thick socks because they do say that your feet can get quite cold and um, what I've also got in here is for <laughs> once the baby's born I don't have any labour clothes specifically I have no idea what I'm going to wear while in labour um, could be a hospital gown could be a t-shirt who knows so when it comes to things for myself in terms of clothing for myself what I have in this bag is a plain pair of pajama a button up front pajamas with pants a plain nursing singlet now <laughs> me trying to find nursing singlets <laughs> extremely difficult <laughs> really 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 difficult half of the time they didn't fit or they didn't have any of my size and um, the other thing of course is some um, granny pennies now I've just got I went out and bought a I think it was a 10 pack or two packs of five or something like that nice and cheap ones because I don't really plan on keeping them afterwards and things like that I've got some sanitary pads because I don't know whether the hospital birthing center provide them I honestly wouldn't have a clue um, so that's what is in there for me. A few other items um, do need to be added to both bags, of course, and I do have a list, um, but it's stuff that's being used at present. Now, in terms of the baby, I have a selection of clothing, because, of course, hospitals and delivery wards and everything can be quite hot, so <laughs> in terms of this one, it is a bit higgledy piggledy but because also I'm transferring from one location to another after birth, um, I baby needs warm clothes because it will be going outside temporarily. So I've got a random collection of items. So I've got just a little bodysuit, um, a little short sleeve bodysuit. 
I also have as well a just a plain little singlet um, in terms of this one. Now these are in newborn sizes except for the singlet which is zero to three months. Um, so <laughs> whether or not they fit. Now I do have in my other bag a random collection of different sizes as well. And I've got just a little um, jumpsuit. It's got no feet or um, hand cover things or anything like that so <laughs> it will need socks which I do have in here I won't show you them but I've got a collection of like socks and some hats a little cotton one and a just trying to think a hand knitted woolen one as well um, some booties things like that I've got another little car I've just got a little cardigan um, in case it needs it in hospital for the trip between the birthing centre I've got another thick I've got a thick cardigan and I also have in here two wraps. I've got a mus just plain white muslin wrap. I do have a second one as well, my other bag, and just a what they call a bunny wrap or whatever it is. Um and whatnot. Now I don't know whether I'm having a boy or a girl, so there are a mixture of blue items and pink items. It's not so that if I have a boy I can dress it in blue and if I have a girl I can dress it in pink. It's just what I have and if it's a boy in pink clothing, well tough luck. I have a couple of different, um, moving on to my after stay bag. I do have a couple of different types of bottles. I got these Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature bottles on special online. Um, they were less than half price including postage. Um, so those are quite good. have no idea whether my baby will prefer them. They're also supposed to be anti-colic as well. See how those work. I do have a, some what looks like really old fashioned bottles. Um, plastic ones from Evenflow as well that I got on special in a baby, baby fair. Um, and things like that. Now moving on to my after stay bag. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible. I do have some other sterilised tablets. This is a totally different brand because um, I went to two different supermarkets to get. Oh, these are the first ones I bought and then basically they're exactly the same as the Milton ones uh, but this is carry care and stuff like that. So I have no idea whether I'll use this um, whether I will actually use these once I get home or some other sterilizer form. I do not have a microwave sterilizer for my bottles. Um, basically, I just planned on boiling them in a pot. So, in my bag, I have, just close that pocket temporarily, I have a large collection of baby clothes and some random clothes for myself. So, if I just pull a few items out. Um, if I go for the essentials first, so in terms of, well it's not really essentials, but I have things like a hairbrush, now I own two hairbrushes so that's, this one's been packed in this bag for a few weeks now, um, I've got the toiletries for both myself and my partner, um, I got given, or well, I bought when I used to go to the gym, a little travel kit which um, just had plain bottles and you filled them, so we're like shower gel and shampoo, um, I don't use conditioner, I'll probably turn them off. Some face wash. Um, I'm quite big into washing my face twice a day. Um, a pot of Vaseline. Handy thing. A little pouch with hair ties and stuff in it. Or at least I think that's what's in there. Yeah. So in there is some hair ties. I am going to put some different ones in because they're all the ones with the metal on them and they snag my hair and are absolutely horrible. Um, in the other pocket of this, I've tried to keep everything to a minimum. I've got some a little travel size of deodorant and in here toothbrush and toothpaste for both me and my partner. Quite difficult to open. Oh, yep. So yeah, toothbrush and toothpaste for my partner. So they're just our travel ones if we go away and stuff like that. I've also got in here, I won't show you them, another couple of packs of sanitary pads. Um, all my other granny pennies, you don't need to see those. Um, I've got in here a nursing bra. Now I only have one nursing bra and one nursing singlet. I'm only, and actually this is all I own. Now I'm only going to be in the birthing clinic for a couple of days afterwards. And I probably should, I might go and buy another one of these. It's 
it's extremely comfortable um, and things like that so I might go into town and pick up another one um, tomorrow if the baby doesn't arrive tonight <laughs> um, sort of thing so I've got yeah, those in there um, I do have a bottle, a tin of formula as well uh, to go with the bottles now in terms of other things for myself I have half of my going home outfit which is basically uh, just a plain shirt, men's shirt um, in terms of the bottom half I need to locate either a pair of tights or I'm going to put in a pair of tracksuit pants um, or things like that but tracksuit pants are in the wash at the moment um, I've just got a plain singlet uh, what else have I got in here I've got a cardigan as well just a plain thin black cardigan everyone tells me they get quite warm in there um, another pair of pyjamas just plain button up pyjamas with pants um, I've put in here some baby wipes as well uh, for the lovely little darling now in terms of baby clothes I have a random collection of items now I've got another wrap here that someone gave me um, this is the little a little white cardigan. There's a hat and booties to match as well, all hand knitted. Um, in terms of clothes for the lovely little darling, I do have a random collection of different sizes as well in different colours. <laughs> so, because I don't know whether I'm going to have a big baby or a small baby, I do have a nice, I do have quite a small, um, I'm guessing premature, really, really small newborn size um, onesie or sleep suit. I've got another one here, which is newborn size. Yes, it is pink, but a flag. Um, I've got a larger one here, which is zero to three months, which is just a plain white one as well. Then, in terms of other clothing, I have just some body suits and a random collection of sizes, uh, both newborn and zero to three months. Um, just in case I've got a selection of short sleeve and long sleeve ones so I've kind of gone for three long sleeve and three short sleeve of course don't know whether I'll need this many um, or anything like that some more singlets um, a smaller one and a plain one another little cardigan what I've also got as well is just a little gown cute little yellow gown plain and simple which I quite like this one um, all of these have been pre-washed and everything before they got packed in here. Um, what I've got as well is just a little pair of pants, tights, whatnot. I'm just going to sound that was myself like going off. Sounds like my partner's finally texted me back in regards to something. I've got a couple of muslin uh, face wash uh, thing washes and another little couple of flannels there. Um, so that's basically what's in my bag I do have in here as well of course I did just dump the bag and I did just dump the box in but I've got some breast pads um, in here I also have as well some newborn nappies now I do know that the hospital and the birthing centre do supply do just do supply nappies um, but I've got a few for in terms of the on the way home and the just in case situation things like that. Um, I've got a little freebie pack that I got given at a oh, at the baby expo um, that in actual fact I put other stuff in. So I've got some Mistella freebie samples for um, nipple balm or whatever and some baby massage oil. Um, I've also got some little eye wipes or things like that. Um, I don't think I would buy these <laughs> personally, but they're there just in case. And of course, uh, nail clippers and nail scissors for the baby, um, in case they are needed. So that's basically everything I have as far as I'm aware in my hospital bag. As I said, there's a few items that still need to go in there. Um, and yeah, it's a few items and everything. But that's what's going on in there. Um, that's what's in there so far um, so basically that's it for my bag so if there's anything that you know that you would recommend <laughs> feel free to post it in the comment below the comments below um, and things like that but I'll try and keep you updated and everything like that so see you later have a good day and bye bye